morning. Yes, it's Tuesday morning and uh, the world is looking for gods. <laughs> Notice that gods, not God. God. And so that is my title of my talk as I, as I, we, we left you off yesterday, church or no church today. Uh, I, I want to share with you around the world is looking for gods. Just like the Israelites at the foot of the mountain when Moses was taking his time with God. Isn't it wonderful when you're in the presence of God, time seems to disappear and you lose the track of time. Well, Moses was in the presence of God and he was spending time with God. What was happening I don't know. But what we do know is this, that God was dealing with certain things of how to lead the chosen nation that he had chosen. And so the Israelites saw God doing amazing things during the plague that drove Egypt to its knees. Notice that. They saw the Red Sea open, allowing them to pass on dry ground, and how the sea swallowed the army of the Egyptians as they pursued them. Now they're standing here at the bottom the mountain and they start to complain because Moses seems to have locked them out or lost his way. Now, in this time of their lockdown, because Moses was busy with God on the mountain, they wanted other gods to lead them. Crazy! But we see this happening even today among many Christians. They kind of look into other gods to find their peace, even during this time of lockdown, during this time of this pandemic. Instead, instead of keeping God uh, focused and, and in their sight at all times, putting God first in their lives, they are searching other avenues to find their way through the wilderness that they are experiencing themselves in. Isn't it strange how quickly one forgets what God has done in our lives when we start looking for answers elsewhere? You know, the one thing that I've noticed within the church today, much of the New Age teachings have infiltrated into the lives of people who once served God. They are holding on to much teachings out there. Now, let me tell you, anything taught outside of the Word of God is dangerous. And so we need to come back to understanding what God wants to do in our lives. Now, as we look back before lockdown, God was busy in his church. Uh, we forget that church was what it was, where people gathered together to come to worship God. We seem to have forgotten those moments and those times where we spent together with God, worshiping God as one. And that is what the church has been called to do. Not to be fragmented, but to be a body who comes together to worship. Yes, as we said in the lockdown, that we are the church, but there is a time when the church needs to come together. And we come together on Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> That's what we celebrate because because every Sunday reminds us of what Jesus did for us some 2,000 years ago when he rose from the dead. Now, while Moses was on the mountain receiving the blueprint of the people who free, were freed from slavery, they were looking for other gods to lead them. Now, I want to say to you this. You always need to keep the cross before you. I've said it in the past, I, I wear a cross and I often find myself holding the cross. And you know what it does? It reminds me that this cross is empty as well as the tomb because Jesus rose and I keep the cross always before me. I keep the cross again as a reminder of who I am in Christ Jesus. Now, in Exodus 32 verse 4, Listen to what Aaron does, because remember this, the people come to him and said, we need a God to lead us. We need gods to lead us. We need God to worship. Somehow Moses has, has lost his way, but we need to worship. And instead of worshiping the God to where Moses was found on the mountain and worship God, they said, no, 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 we need to see that what we want to worship. And in Exodus 32 verse 4, Aaron took the gold, melted it down, molded it into a shape of a calf. When the people saw it, they exclaimed, O oh Israel, these are the gods who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Hogwash! It wasn't a 
golden calf that led them out of Egypt. It was God himself. It wasn't a golden calf that opened up the Red Sea to allow them through. It was God. And they saw that and yet they turn around and they say, where is God? We need a God. And so they worship a golden calf. Now, this is what I'm trying to say to you this morning. How easily is it is to forget who God is and what he has done within our lives when we neglect gathering together. You see, again, we need to understand the importance of coming together in worshiping God as one because we are reminding one another of that, of what Jesus Christ did for us. Let us not fall into the trap of that of ancient Israel. When Moses took a little bit of time coming down from the mountain with the very blueprint that was going to lead them into the blessings that God had for them. God had so much in store for them, yet they neglected that waiting time. I want to say to you this morning, waiting time of coming to church is over. It's time for the church to return. And again, I'm going to ask you, church or no church? So let's continue talking about this very topic as we continue. Until tomorrow, hold that thought.